know what you're thinking about. Talking about work. I know what you're thinking about school. I know what you're thinking about all the time. Hello, everybody. This is Grendalsh here coming to you from Star Wars The Old Republic, currently on Ord Mantel, the starting zone for uh, Star Troopers. And old uh, Rajin here is a trooper and getting a feel for the game. Um, not going to discuss the game because you've probably got a million reviews on that. So my focus is the Nostromo, and so of course I jumped in here and tried to figure out how to set up the Nostromo. Um, unfortunately, um, being only on the weekend betas, haven't had a lot of time to really dig into like, okay, configuring it specifically for this game. So the first thing I did, of course, was swipe my WoW profile and slap it in here and see if it would work, and it does. Um, got some interesting uh, tidbits and things to go over. So um, anyway, we're a quick pan around just because. Yay, Ord Mantel, man at station, man at point here, whatever. Um, still figuring the game out. All right, so some tricky things. Uh, first thing I hit in here was, now this may only be a beta thing, but uh, just in case, uh, the issue of not being able to use your extra mouse buttons um, in game. And there's a trick with this. Um, so apparently the beta runs in administrative mode um, and it will not accept mouse button commands from anything running not in administrative mode. So if you go and open up uh, whatever software it is that controls your extra mouse buttons, in this case I'm using Microsoft device, so it's using uh, iPoint. Um, you come in here, you make sure that it's running this program as an administrator, usually under compatibility. Um, come on, change, whatever. I'm running Windows 7, XP will be a little bit different, but basically just make sure that the software is actually running in administrative mode. Are you going to come up? You're not going to come up. There it is. Uh, run this program as an administrator, um, and then either reboot or um, use a task manager to stop whatever software it is and restart it, and it'll start up with administrator mode, and then Tor will recognize it. And uh, hopefully they get it straightened out for the, the live launch, but for now, that's what you got to do. If you got a Naga, if you've got um, the Steel Series mouse. I've had a couple friends that are using both of those and they've had the same problem and this fixed them right up. So you just got to make sure your software is running as administrator and then it'll be recognized in Tor. Otherwise you press the buttons all you want and Tor just completely ignores him. Alright, so that's that. Um, so let's see. Real quick, there we go. The Stromo layout. You see I'm using the World of Warcraft layout. Same one I used. You've seen my videos elsewhere. Um, Ah, uh, sigh. Lego Universe, you're going away. I will be sad. Anyway, um, but yeah, so you can just apply that one in here. No big whoop. Um, there is a lot of rebinding you have to do in Tor to get this to work. Um, th let me rephrase that. Um, there's a lot of rebinding you need in Tor, need to do in Tor in order to, um, in my per ambition, yeah in my opinion, uh, control it well. Um, it is really based around keyboard and mouse. Um, so, uh, that off the screen, let's get into this. Okay, so by default, you don't have both of these bars. You usually only have this. Um, so, when you get in here, you can set it up and tell it. Let's see, preference panels. Okay, so we're going to go through the action bars first, because that's where the Nostromo really comes in. Um, user, let's see, controls. Um, so some fun, cool things. Um, you're, right, action bars that must be on target. Uh, user interface. Quick bars. Okay, so you've got four extra bars on top of this base one. So this one here is this bottom bar. So you can show two on the bottom bar. And then there's these here, which control left and right. Um, oh, that's just a lock quick slot, so you don't drop it off, and you can do that with this right here as well. Um, okay, so there's a left and a right, and two in the bottom, um, so it won't show six like WoW will. You can only get four showing at one time. Um, you also get your companion bar, which will take over one of your slots here. There's a bottom 
Yeah. Anyway, he will show up over here whenever he... I don't have one on this character yet, but he will show up over here later on. Uh, so, you will need to turn turn that on. I find these left and rights to be annoying, but like that. Um, and you'll notice the, you know, the default numro binding applies in here. By default, these are not key bound. And this took me a little while to figure out. Here's your key bindings down here. And you want your quick slots, is what they're called in here. And you're looking for... Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Come on, keep going. Left, your right, your bottom center quick slot all the way down here. And you'll have to set your bindings for that. So I used the shift modifier for that. Your companion, by default, is already bound on control 1 through 0, not the whole way. So for instance, control minus, control equals, and there we go. And I did that using modified, but just using the, the Nostromo. Um, right, so there's a whole lot of key binding you can do in here. Um, there's a couple of things, um, I forget what they are exactly now, but I've hit there where it's a little mm, not as um, not as in-depth as WoW's key binding system is, but, you know, it's brand new. That'll get fixed as it is. Um, one nuisance thing right now, uh, they have not supported mods or add-ons at this point yet, so you can't change up the action bars. So you'll notice I'm still in the action bar instead of uh, grid format, and I'm wondering how I'm going to do that with all the artwork they have hanging off of um, your control center down here, so that may be a problem later on. Um, which is why I was saying earlier that probably what you'll wind up doing um, is not doing the one, the one, two, three, you know, the three by three grid with um, minus equals above the finger and zero on the lower button. It may actually wind up being, um, I don't know, like four across, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and whatever. It, it, the grid worked out well, but it may not necessarily be apply in here. And modifiers, um, so in WoW, I've got, you know, I'm using Shift, Control, Alt, and Shift, Control, plus unmodified, so five modifiers, basically, all told, against all my, my the 12 keys in the grid to get, um, to control five grids. Um, in here, you really don't have that many things to control, at least, you know, as I've gotten. Mm, even level 10 character was only using basically one action bar worth of abilities, and the game only goes to 40. So, um, two action bars may be sufficient, uh, plus control for your, um, your companion, um, that may actually be sufficient, in which case you may not need to have um, things set up the same way as uh, with the, the WoW default. And unfortunately I won't be able to get into that deep until after launch, um, if then. So definitely try up other things. And if you find something that cool works really cool, definitely let me know, because I'd love to, love to know about that. All right, um, we're moving along. Um, so, by default, you've got to come in, change your movement. Um, most of these aren't bound. Um, you will have move forward, move back, and turn left, turn right. So you will need to reset strafe uh, to map to the D-pad. Um, again, I use the extra mouse buttons um, with modifiers for a lot of these. So, for instance, jump is my outside... There we go. Outside mouse key button, um, which for in here I have bound as um, numpad slash and numpad asterisk. Uh, by default, it will register if you leave it alone in your mouse settings as whatever you put. But either the default num you know, mouse button 4 mouse button 5 will work. However, I don't think it'll register anything beyond mouse button 4 and 5 D by default, so you will have to give it values to pass for it to recognize in here. Um, my mouse on only goes up to 5, so I can't test that. Um, but your typical, you know, movement in a, in a ah, key bindings. Um, Let's see, nothing particularly great. Um, yeah, more nothing. 
Uh, well, uh, this was an interesting thing. I don't know if anybody else does this. This may just be me a thing, but um, for um, chatting, uh, opening the chat panel. Let's see, where are you? Open chat, enter. I prefer to use spacebar, and that's just because whenever I go to chat, I got to pull my hands off of my mouse and my Nostromo, center it, so I just you know thumb on the onto the mouse onto the spacebar. If you use, if you use. Okay, so whenever I use space, every time you press space, it closes and, 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 and completes the, sp the chat panel. So you're typing, you know, hello, space, closes, and sends hello. Which is very aggravating when you're trying to say, hello, Bob, and you didn't get to say Bob. Everybody wonders why you're talking in one word at a time. So you can't use... Well, you can, but you'll wind up with that. So, you know... Um, Unfortunately, you're going to default back to enter, and it's a nuisance, um, and uh, I've submitted a, hey, that's really not how that should work. Um, your close should always still be on enter, regardless of what your open is. But uh, So, beware of that. That's a bite. Um, everything else behaves the same. You know, chat reply R. Uh, one nuisance thing I noticed, if you press R, it'll open, send a, start a chat reply, but it'll also put R in the text. So, uh, hopefully they fix that before live. Um, really simplistic camera controls. Uh, one, if you're coming at this from WoW, which many of you probably are, um, there's no like auto attack or, or um, uh, just a target ability on your action bar. So, while well, you can set up targeting in here, so like for instance, tab targeting, target next enemy, works well. Put that on the scroll bar like usual, or on the scroll wheel on the Nostromo. Uh, there's no default, you know, throw, um, like normally I have, att just attack or auto attack or whatever. Uh, throw that down, and by hitting that, you'll automatically try to attack if they're in front of you, but it'll also target your nearest enemy. And yeah, nothing like that in here. Short of binding a key and setting it on the Stromo and coming back in here, it's a hassle. But so, you pretty much tap targeting for your nearest targets. But... If you're using the Nostromo down here, your mouse is free, so you can do a whole lot of, you know, left-clicking for targeting. Um, but your general usual targeting stuff in here. Okay, so that's keybinds. So, all that goodness. So, um, but here's a little bit of... Wow. You are cleared for the following my face looks pretty crap on my screen. It's a lot better when I'm not recording. So, but just for fun, a quick speeder bike ride. Eh, got a lot to explore with this guy still. <coughs> so anyway, um, quick tour of Ord Mantel here. Where am I at? F 14 minutes, so I've got about another minute left on this. Um, but yeah, so otherwise pretty much handles up like that. No macros yet, so uh, nothing to show there. No add-ons for manipulating your thing here. They haven't said they're not, they haven't specifically said we're not going to do that. Um, so much as they've said, we're just not supporting it yet because it's still in beta and, you know, right out the gate and all. So I imagine, you know, eventually that may become more of a, an availability. Um, hey, auto run. Okay. Dramatic music. Yes, lose him. Because in Star Wars, Han Solo always sucks at losing creatures. And whatever. And we all know. That standing here shooting people is the best way to play a first person shooter game. So. And then you reload and kill yourself. So there we go. Storming the beaches with the trooper. Great fun. Although I do that kind of like the way it's great. 
Okay, there we go. Hey, you. Should. Yep, loot them both at the same time. Yay. And that was exciting. Ooh, a lava cave. I wonder what's over there. Okay. So, this is my welcome to tour video game. Basically, yep, you can use the WoW profile. A little bit of key binding required and like that. Otherwise, looking pretty good. Liking it. Looking forward more to Pandaria, but, you know, still liking it. Alright. Ciao.